What's going on, everybody? Thank you for checking back in with us for this week's Blessed Money. And this week, as you can tell, I got me a special guest here, my stepdad, Kerry. Hey, what's up? Rise up. All right, so uh, we figured we'd do things a little bit different for uh, this particular Blessed Money because with the uh, NFL season kicking off and us being Dirty Bird Falcon fans, we're going to go ahead and do this Blessed Money right here in the bird's eye. And this week, we're going to be talking about different strongholds that people have on them and how to be set free from them. So you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop right into this thing, try to keep this video as short as possible. But today we're going to be in the King James Version Bible, just like always, reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. All right, so Carrie, uh, what you think? What uh, what you think that verse means? What what does that mean to you? Uh, certain strongholds that have grips on people, be it sweets, be it narcotics, be it alcohol, uh, that they can be delivered from those strongholds. Yeah, I I I agree. Um, I know it talks about um, when I when I hear this verse, I think about people saying, you know, I'm grown and I can do what I want to do, or I'm free, or, you know, especially being here in America, you know, we are. Um, we don't realize how good we have it, but because of that, I think we're a little spoiled and we get to a point where we just say things like, you know, I can do what I want to do or whatever. But just because you it's lawful or just because you can do certain things doesn't mean that it's good for you. Like, for example, I love eating Krispy Kreme donuts, but that don't mean if I, uh, if I overdo it, then I definitely going to have a big gut. It's also going to uh, maybe cause some health concerns to right. me. Uh, for me so uh i just think is i just think people need to realize that just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something i don't mean it's good for you uh so uh with that being said we're gonna hop right into your blessed money and you just kind of tell uh what the scripture uh how, how the scripture has manifested in your life okay fair enough this scripture to me has proven the power the true power of uh, god's deliverance uh i suffered with smoking for 20 years Prayed about it, prayed about it, asked God to please remove these cigarettes. So one particular night, uh, I prayed before I went to bed um, to be delivered from smoking, and God himself touched my hand, touched my hand and opened my eyes to see the position of my wife's hands to know that she couldn't have touched me that way. And I haven't smoked from that day to this day. That's awesome. That's, man. I really, I, you know, sometimes I pray for certain things to be taken away from me, and it it takes, you know, a little bit longer. Uh, but that that's awesome that God just took it away just like that. I know a lot of people get the patches, and a lot of people have to wean themselves all go to saunas and do all these right. crazy things. But you were able to just do it, just just like that. Yeah, absolutely, now, that's I, the power. How long? How long has it been? Uh, it's been almost five years now. Five years. Hey man, that's hey, that's crazy. So there you have it. You know, if you seek God and if you you know go to Him, He will you know He will speak to you. He'll do it on His time. It may not be exactly when you want it to be, or it may be instantly. You never know. It just depends on the level of faith you have. All right, guys. So. There you have it. You got a couple of examples on that scripture. You heard Carrie's testimony for that scripture. And just like we were saying earlier, uh, cigarette smoking may be legal. You know, you may not find anything wrong with that. However, it can have health issues. It also can affect your bank account because it can be expensive to do that as well. Uh, but uh, if there's something that has a stronghold over you, you want to ask God to deliver you from that. Most importantly, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you know, read uh, John 3.16. Ask God to reveal himself to you. Matter of fact, you can hit me up at blessedmoney.com and we can talk about how you can become saved if you don't know Jesus. But with that being said, we're going to wrap it up again with a call to action. If if you have any comments on this, please feel free to leave them, whether you agree or disagree. If you uh, benefited from it, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, meet us over at blessedmoney.com. Become a member of, of our social community and be a blessing and share your testimony. If you decided today that you want to give your life to Christ and be saved or delivered from your sins, then Romans chapter 10 verses 9 spells out exactly what you need to do. It says the following. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It is simple as that. All you got to do is confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and you will be saved.